This fighter jet is so advanced that it could have revolutionized aerial warfare. Meet the Israeli IAI Lavi. Born in the 1980s, the Lavi was Israel's ambitious answer to the growing need for a homegrown advanced fighter jet. The project was spearheaded by Israel Aerospace Industries, the nation's principal aerospace and aviation manufacturer. The name Lavi, meaning lion, was a testament to Israel's determination to create a powerful and agile aircraft that could dominate the skies. The project was not just about technical prowess, it represented a national aspiration, a symbol of self-reliance in a volatile geopolitical landscape. Fueled by innovation and the desire to push technological boundaries, the Lavi project aimed to produce an aircraft that was not only superior in performance, but also versatile in its operational capabilities. With the stage set, the IAI Lavi was ready to take form. The IAI Lavi fighter jet was not just any fighter jet, it was a marvel of engineering and innovation. Its design was a unique blend of cutting-edge aerodynamics and advanced technology. The Lavi spotted a distinctive delta wing configuration, coupled with large steerable canards, a combination that provided exceptional maneuverability and stability. When compared with its contemporaries, the Lavi's empty weight was significantly lighter. For instance, the III Lavi fighter jet weighed in at just over 7,000 kilograms, while the F-16 Block 30 tipped the scales at over 8,000 kilograms. Powering the Israeli III Lavi fighter jet was a single Pratt and Whitney PW 1120 turbofan engine, a powerhouse capable of generating over 20,000 pounds of thrust. This allowed the Lavi to achieve speeds of up to Mach 1.85, making it one of the fastest jets of its time. The Lavi was also designed to have a substantial combat radius, capable of carrying eight 750-pound bombs over a distance of 250 nautical miles. But where the III Lavi truly shone was in its advanced avionic system. It was equipped with a quadruplex redundant digital fly-by-wire flight control system, making it potentially the first operational aircraft to employ fully digital flight controls. This innovative feature allowed for smoother, more precise control of the aircraft, which was crucial during high-speed maneuvers. The Lavi was also designed to be a multi-role fighter, capable of performing a variety of missions. From air-to-air -air combat and ground strikes to reconnaissance missions, the Lavi was a jack of all trades. Its versatility made it a formidable asset on the battlefield, capable of adapting to a wide range of combat scenarios. However, despite its impressive design and advanced features, the Lavi's journey was cut short. The project was ultimately cancelled due to mounting financial concerns and international pressures. But a great design does not always guarantee success. Regardless, the Lavi's innovative features and technological advancements continue to influence modern aircraft design, proving that its legacy lives on. The Lavi was a formidable weapon in any air-to-ground strike mission as a multi-role fighter jet. It was designed to excel in a variety of tasks. In air-to-air -air combat, its high speed, excellent maneuverability and advanced avionics gave it a significant edge over many contemporary fighters. For air-to-ground strikes, its considerable payload and range made it a potent force. And in the role of reconnaissance, its advanced sensors and high speed made it an excellent platform for gathering vital intelligence. But the Lavi was not just about raw performance. It was also designed with operational versatility in mind. Its advanced avionics and flight control systems made it highly adaptable, capable of performing multiple missions in a single sortie. This made the Lavi not just a fighter, but a true multi-role combat aircraft. And yet, despite its impressive capabilities, the Lavi's journey was cut short. In 1987, the dream of the IAI Lavi was abruptly ended. The ambitious project, which promised to revolutionize Israel's Air Force, fell victim to financial constraints and international pressure. The high cost of the Lavi program was a major concern, with estimates suggesting that each unit would cost twice as much as a comparable F-16. Meanwhile, the US, which provided significant funding to Israel's defense budget, viewed the Lavi as a potential competitor to its own aerospace industry. The American government exerted pressure on Israel to abandon the project. Despite the significant progress made and the promising capabilities of the aircraft, the Lavi program was officially cancelled in August 1987. This decision sparked a wave of controversy and disappointment. Yet while the IAI Lavi never took to the skies in combat, 
it was far from a complete loss. Though the IAI Lavi never saw combat, its legacy lives on in Israel's aerospace industry. The IAI Lavi may have been grounded, but its spirit soars on. The Lavi's advanced features and innovative design have left an indelible mark on Israel's aerospace industry. The technological advancements made during its development have rippled through time, influencing the design and capabilities of later aircrafts. The Lavi's unique delta wing configuration, its advanced avionics system and its multi-role capabilities have all been emulated in one form or another in subsequent designs. Moreover, the lessons learned during the Lavi's development process have informed future project management and decision-making approaches in the Israeli aviation sector. Despite the Lavi never entering operational service, its pioneering spirit lives on, inspiring a generation of engineers and aviation enthusiasts alike. The III Lavi remains a symbol of innovation and ambition, a testament to what could have been.